All right. Hold on. All right, guys. Welcome back to part twenty-one of uh, Red Dead Redemption. Uh, we just got ambushed by the Gray family in town. We lost one of our boys, Sean, I believe it is. Uh, the Irish guy. Um, and now we're going to have to be moving town. I mean, moving moving area. I'm assuming. Um, so if I can... I'll go back to Dutch. They, they put me randomly in the middle of nowhere. So this mission's called Blood Feuds Ancient and Modern. So that's what we're going to be doing. Uh, where's my horse? Oh, come on, boy. boy. Is that where we can... Hold on. What the... Oh. I've just seen on the horse on the right-hand side speed and everything dutch warm blood but um hasn't got his name there it's kind of weird but whatever Whoa, Give me a brush oh he's kind of filthy well whatever let's uh feed him as well and then we will crack on um carrot apple Whatever, let's get one of these. And then we move on. What are you doing? Yeah. So yeah, we, the town is off limits. Uh, completely to us. Because of the grey situation. I don't know what's going to happen with the old woman though. Foggy as hell. Everybody just stay forty one bucks. Not time to get hysterical. We're gonna find that boy. Gonna find that boy, what? Arthur, have you seen that boy, Jack? No. Where's my goddamn son? Where is he? Where's my son? They took him, didn't they? They took my son. Who took him? We think the Braithwaite woman took him. Oh. Like Kieran saw a couple of fellows sound like Braithwaite boys. Where's my son? If anything, uh, where is my son, Dutch Vandalin? We will find him, we will bring him back to you, and we will kill any fool that had the temerity to touch one hair on that boy's head. Abigail. You have my word. Just get me back, my son. I will get that boy back, so help me God. Right now. Dutch, we just heard about Jack. We need some extra guns. Yeah, why not? Micah, Kieran, anyone strange turns up, you kill him. Rest of you, let's ride. Damn, so they took the little boy we went fishing with. Okay. And so this is what happens with the brave white woman. Okay, so why did they go after the boy? Or well, probably they got pissed off that we played both sides. Um, this is a long range repeater, Lancaster repeater, Springfield rifle, bold action, rolling block. Okay, that's another sniper rifle. That's a shotgun. But if there's multiple enemies, I don't really want to risk that. So 150. Um, yeah, okay. I'll go with this one. Yeah, we just got shot to hell by the Greys in town. I know. I heard about Sean too. I don't want to even think about that right now. We have to focus on Jack. I swear. I'll kill everyone there. Easy job. Try to stay calm. I'm fine. Damn about the gold! 
He's concerned about the gold. Somewhere no one knows. What? I've turned every stone. Christ's sake, Hosea. After all that, another perfect scam. We underestimated them. No, they underestimated us. Enough talk. There is no point in arguing how we got here. This is where we are. True. And we are going to fix it. So come on. Falling behind here. Trying to read what they say. Alright, we're on the home stretch. Get your heads right. Nobody makes a move until I say so. Yeah. So we haven't found the goal, we don't know where it is. They could ambush us here, you never know. Go to Arthur, Dutch. We can't do this without you. Come on, let's get this done. John, you sure you're okay? Like I said, I'm fine. Follow my lead. Both these redneck families think they can ruin us? I don't think so. <laughs> there they are. Who steals a goddamn boy? I'm gonna let fly at those sons of bitches! John, I need you to stay calm. Get down. Burn the fucking house down. You inbred trash! What the hell do you want? Easy, John. We've come for the boy. You must have known we would. Shouldn't have messed with our business now, should you? Whatever complaint you have with us, alleged or otherwise, that is a young boy. That is not the way you do things. Hand him over. Get the hell off our land. We've got more men coming. Where's the old bitch? If you ain't gonna be civilized about this. Oh shit! Nice. I don't want to die in this section like I died previously. Get rid of him. Yeah. <laughs> oh, stop. Arthur, John, Hosea with me. The rest of you watch out here for any other arrival. Then we're gonna bother looting. But I will. Just pick up as I go. Find Jack and find that Braithwaite woman. Yeah, we've got to find the woman, that's right. Jack. I'm kind of tempted to actually loot everybody. <laughs> Get in there! We have to find Jack! Knock knock! Jack, Search uh, in, uh, for Jack inside the manor. Jack. Wait, what was that? Kick. The kick. Jack. Oh, shit. Nice. Uh, 
the Dutch upstairs. I will loot this one because I'm in here. Yep, 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 yep. Silver pocket watch. Just uh, getting shipped for the gang. <laughs> right, he wants me upstairs. He didn't have a lot of opportunities to look around the house. This sucks. What did you want me up here for? I don't get it. One with a flank? Okay, this is ridiculous. Oh, I see. Yo, that is ridiculous. I thought they want me to kick down the door and get in there. Okay. So I died once. <laughs> oh, I see. Oh, I can't let me get close. Oh, come on. Really, more? Kidding me? How many more are there? Yeah, that's bad, man. Remember it. No, I don't want to. Oh. I did say there was no way. I mean, we could flank. Health cure, ironically. Woman. <laughs> you want me to kill you too, old woman? You bastards! Where's the boy? boy? We have lived in this house for a hundred and twenty years. We never had no problems except for Where Yankees. Where is the boy? Who took him? You killed my son! Oh, and I will surely kill the rest of them unless you start talking. Oh, I know your time. Common scum. Where is the boy? You filth. All right, we get her out of here. 
What about down? Now let's get this hag outside. Any more of her sons to do it? No, reckon they're all dead. That's right. Burn this dog to the ground. Yeah, that'd be the next thing. Leave the man with Dutch. <sighs> Give me one second, guys. I'm going down front. Oh, I keep getting notifications about stuff. My apologies. So, yeah, I'm annoyed that we could have. You know what I would have done? I would have, like, threatened her, kept her alive, and said, Where's the gold? Give us the gold. Then we won't burn your house down. We slang up the boy. I never liked you. Why'd you take the boy, Mrs. Braithwaite? You stole Boys my Boys are off limits. You stole my horses. Ain't no rules in war, Mr. Matthews. Yes, yes, that's it. Where's the boy? My sons gave him to Angelo Bronte. So my guess is Saint Denis. Either there or on my boat to Italy. Let's go. Arthur, come on. <laughs> what are we doing with her? I told you she was crazy. <laughs> Okay, so we are moving. We're going to the next area. Saint Denis is the other city. Damn. It's going to work out, John. The Battle of Shady Bell. Now, I don't expect you to understand this, but I have never been more proud of you than I am right now, brother. You're doing the right thing. If I don't get that boy back safe, um, she she'll kill us all. I know, but looking at this logically, well, that boy is fine they took him to scare us nobody takes a boy to harm him he's right john what do you think arthur my boy will be fine but well of course marston scared rotten we, we killed all those people we stirred up all that trouble <laughs> for nothing no no not for nothing for living now we get that boy back and we go Just me hey dutch we got a problem. Not a problem. Visitors. A oh, shit. Good day, fine people. Mr. Vanderlind. Mr. Matthews, I presume. And who are you? Rip Van Winkle. Huh. Good day, sir. Agent Milton, Pinkerton Detective Agency. Agent Ross. Ah, Mr. Morgan. Nice to see you again. And to what do we owe the pleasure? Agent Moron? I don't know if you're aware, but this... This is a civilized land now. <laughs> we didn't kill all them savages only to allow the likes of you to act like human dignity and basic decency was outmoded or not yet invented. This thing... It's done. This place... Ain't no such thing... As civilized. It's man. So in love with greed... He has forgotten himself and found only appetites. And as a consequence, that lets you take what you please, kill whom you please, and hang the rest of us? Who made you the messiah to these lost souls you've led so horribly astray? I'm nothing but a seeker, Mr. Milton. You ain't much of anything more than a killer, Mr. Vanderlind. But I came to make a deal. It's time. You come with me. And I give the rest of you three days to run off, disappear, and go and live like human beings someplace else. You came for me? Risk life and limb in this den of lowlifes and murderers so that they might live and love? Ain't that fine. <laughs> <laughs> 
I don't want to kill all these folk, Dutch. Just you. In that case, it'd be my honor to join you. Excuse me, friends. I have an appointment to keep with. I think your new friend should leave now, Dutch. You're making a big mistake, all of you. <laughs> yeah, dreadful. We have got something. Something to live and die for. How awful for us. Mr. Milton, stop following us. We'll be gone soon. I'm afraid I can't. And when I return, I'll be with 50 men. All of you will die. Run away from this place, you fools! Run! Come on. Get your damn hands off of me, boy. What now? Hmm. We get out of here. And quick. Any ideas? I know a big old house. Hidden in the swamps outside Saint Denis. I'm sure they'll find us eventually, but it should buy us a few days. A few days? That's all we need. There's a spot out by Shady Bell. Lenny and I got into that dispute with the previous occupiers. Place is well hidden. You and Arthur, right out to make sure no one else has moved in. Lenny, you go follow those fools out of here. Make sure that they leave. And John, we'll get Jack back, and we'll get going. Rest of you, get packing! Come on, John. All right, so we're going back to that place where the uh, the crazy guys were. I like the deal he offered; it made a lot of sense. You no know, disrespect to Dutch, but like that's a fair deal. If you were going to do that, you'd be like, okay, he goes, you get to go live your life normal. Of course, the gang is loyal; we're not going to do that. I understand that as well. Um, but just you know, I think if you were going to take it and you didn't like the guy or whatever, you'd be like, fuck it, I'm going to take this deal. Then again, the other gang members would have killed you. <laughs> but you know what I mean, like in theory. Um, it seemed like a fair deal. He's going to return with 50 men. So we have to clear out Shady Bell. Uh, I, I like the fact we burned that woman's house down. I, she be Her sons are dead. Her, you know, she's got nothing to live for. She might even like pack up her shit or move, take her money, go somewhere else, go to San Denise or whatever herself and be like, I've lost everything, but I've got money. I'll rebuild my life here. You know, just in a city, just not doing crime and just retire. You know what I mean? Sell all her stuff off. You know what I mean? Who knows? That's the theory. Just a theory. How far is that actually? Yeah, was it a straight run? Wait, where? I don't even know where it is now. Oh, it's here. Well, it's quite far. It's not too far, but okay. Let's crack on. I'm gonna cross the river with my horse. It's kind of dirty. It's gonna be There's a bit right. of a wash. We should be going for Jack. We will. We have to move everyone first before that bastard Milton comes back with an army. We ain't no use to Jack in jail. We're at the end of a rope. I don't even know what to think no more. Just gotta keep our cool. Be smart about this. Wait, what? Why does it say return to John? Can't I just crack on? Come on, John, I ain't got a day for this. Yeah, catch up, dude. She was just talking about something. Smart? Are you joking? We made too much noise once again. We drove right to us. I mean, how many people we killed the past few weeks? Far too many. It's Dutch playing his games. Hosea, too. Get involved with those two families. Master con men working their magic. They thought there was a lot of gold. Yeah, they thought there was money. Ain't there always. Look, Marston, I don't know what to tell you. Things don't always work out. That ain't nothing new. Jack's gone. We lost Sean, Mac, Davy, Jenny. And for what? We can't change what's done. We can only move on. But one day, we need to start learning from our mistakes. Come on, it ain't all bad. We've had a rocky run. We'll be okay. We'll get through. 
Yeah. Dutch? Dutch will come up with a big plan. Right now, every plan gets us into worse trouble. We're getting further from where we're meant to be going. All right. Should be just down this path to the left here. Well, it seems to be that way. We're getting into more trouble as it goes on. Rightly so. Just don't get too far in your head with all this. You'll never get out. That's it up ahead. Four walls and a roof. What in the world? You ain't seen inside it yet. Come on. <laughs> the sooner we get this done, the better. You sure this place is empty? I ain't sure of nothing. Oh, right. yeah. Let's leave the horses here and take a look. That's gonna be a but ain't bloody empty. Oh shit! It's them <sighs> Really? I love how I've got like two hundred rounds, but I'm <sighs> I could double gun it. Hold on. Wait, oh I'm I'm off my horse, that's right. That's a shotgun. Double barrel. Damn it! Still some here. I can see that. You think there's more of them? I'll check the house. You keep watch out here. Right, search the rooms for any Lamo stragglers. Okay. him now. What do we have anyway? Can we search him? Come on. Ah, whatever. Let's move on. Any more of you upstairs? I'm coming for you. You hear me? Come on. I got a bullet here waiting <laughs> for you. Come out with your hands up. You can still walk out of here. Come out where I can shoot you. You're the one hiding. I'm me. You think you're tough, Jackie? Come here. I knew you'd come. Soon enough. You are some of the cow. Like you. <sighs> God damn it. Oh shit! Jesus! Took himself out. Well, we might as well loot him too. Hmm. Weird. Wonder why he took himself out. Search drawer. All right. Okay. Carry any more? Blah blah blah. We've got like quite a few guns laying around when they're dead, like pick them up or whatever, but still. A gold nugget. Nice. Alright, this is the roll with the shotgun still. We've got one more room to check. Okay, not a door. Pfft. Maybe it's a wardrobe. Here we go. So one guy killed himself. Fight me like a goddamn man. Come Damn, that was close. Look it up there. I think that's a lot. Didn't even have to shoot. John at the entrance. Come help me with this, will you? Again, I can't search him. So annoying. Everything all right up there? Uh, all right. That's all she wrote. 
Alright, what's in here? Hmm, apparently we can't get in there. Right, let's meet him at the entrance. That was clear, uh, quick clear out. Really? I'm gonna pick. Oh, I see. We'll clear it out. Follow me. Follow John. All right, this way. We'll dump the bodies in the swamp over there. Around the J. Okay, I seem to have okay. gone in the water. I can deal with the rest of the bodies. You go up with the caravan. Guide them in. All right, see you soon. Oh. That was gross. Oh, come on, dude. I could have just... Oh, there was one upstairs. There was... A... Okay, right. One back here. Wait. That one. No, wait. Hold on. What's going on here? I killed a dude. He was here. Why is it saying... Oh, hold on. Hold on. Let's go upstairs. Maybe... Oh, he took the other dude then. Okay. Oh yeah, the other dude, didn't he? Okay, oh now I can loot him. I've already looted him. Alright, whatever. Lump the body in the swamp, yeah, yeah. It's annoying because you have to gotta go up and down, up and down. At least I know where it is though, so. Slow moving. Well, I suppose we've got to clean up the house for the others before they arrive. <laughs> no, come on, man. It's just slow. Irritable. I'm not going to jump in the water this time. Okay, we're done about the other body. Maybe the other dude got him. To uh, my humble abode. We got fine living. You know the corpses and the alligators. It's paradise. I love it. Miss Grimshaw, Mr. Pearson, would you two kindly work your magic? Arthur, take a ride with me. Sure. Come on. George? Yes? Could I have a word with you? <clears throat> Not now. Come on, Arthur. All right, where are we going? Can you believe that, girl? All I've got going on, and she wants to talk. Everything okay with you two? I got far more important things to worry about right now than Molly O'Shea. So, where are we? To take a look at this eighth wonder of the civilized world, San Denis, I keep hearing about. According to the map, oh. the road up this way should lead us right in there. All right. I guess this day ain't over yet. Not quite. Good work back there, Arthur. Everything went okay? A few loose ends. Nothing major. And John? About what you'd expect. He's taking it hard. We are going to get that boy back. Whatever it takes. 
I love how like the boy's missing and how he's all pissed off and upset, but then he weren't in the kid's life for many years anyway. Just throwing it out there, you know? Asking around in the city for Bronte. Subtly, of course. Public places, maybe start with the saloons. Anyone who can put us in contact with him. Of course. What about the Pinkertons? I'm fairly sure nobody followed us. We moved out fast. We should be safe for a few days here. And then? I think we need to move a little further. Put some ocean between us and all of this. The mess with those two families. Losing Sean. I see things differently now. For a long time, I truly believed the paradise lay somewhere in the West for us. But I just don't know anymore. So we're leaving the country now? Maybe. I'm still thinking about it. Whatever we do, we'll need more money. In any case, we have more pressing matters to attend to first. <laughs> All that rings about money. Back in these times and even now. <laughs> so he wants to not only just not just move around but leave the country. There she is. A real city. The future. Oh, it's a factory, isn't it? Yeah, look, it's factories. Oh, shit. Big shit. The Industrial Revolution. They're always repellent. Exactly. I'll find you in there. Go see what you can figure out. Yes. Alright, so what, we're going to be free to own devices, do whatever? Okay, this must be the next chapter, obviously, surely. Chapter 4, Saint Denis. Alright, pretty good. The Battle of Shady Bell. That was a quick battle, let's be honest. Um, okay, so... New Era, Saint Denis. Okay, we have... Bronte, The Joys of Civilization. This is a guy that basically had the kid. Um, wait, what? Why is there three of these? I don't get it. Okay, I don't get it. Um, and we've got lots of other things to open up here. Doctor. Saloon. Barber. Um... Would actually like to go to the barbers right now. We've got to check. I'm not too sure what to do. Because we've done like two things. But that would be a very short video. So. Hold on. I'm tempted to go to the, to the uh, barbers really. If I can. I might be able to buy a new horse. That would be kind of cool. There's a side mission as well. How do you do, sir? There's bloody carriages. How far in deep are we? Okay, so yeah, we can't. Okay, wait, this is still. Where's the. That's where I want to go. That's a mystery. Oh, we've got a clothes shop as well. Let's check that out as well. Okay, I can't seem to move past this. Let's move faster. Okay. My bad. Whoa, 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 whoa. What the hell is wrong with you? Bloody hell, this city's a pain. There's not enough room. Okay. Hey. Watch yourself. I 
Hi there. Come on in. Barber. Here we go. Uh, haircut. So what'll it be today? All right. So. No, we're not doing that. Wait, what? So my beard's looking a bit thick. I'm not going to do that. Trim your facial hair. Where are we with that anyway? I see. We're still pretty thick. I'm going to leave it for now. Um, hair though. Okay then, let's get you in the chair. What the hell? Wait, can I... There we go, bold. Suits you. Happy with that. Nice. Please, tell your friends about us. Right, so where do I want to go next? I want to go to the clothes store, tailor up next. That's what I'll do. Right about dusty old town now. I don't like how closed in it is though. It's like horrible. Out of the way. What the hell? Beg your pardon. Somebody get out. Don't do that. Come on, horsey, let's go. Come on, oh my god, you can't walk fast. Let's go. Because you're on a mission or whatever, you they're, they're slowing you down so you take note. It's like, fuck that, I'm busy. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. How do we get... What in the world is going on here? I think I robbed someone. Okay, so. Is it? No? It is dusty, boy. What's going on here? Taylor, here we go. I bet this stuff is expensive. Right, here we go. Right, so we can check outfits. Are the outfits any different? 98 bucks. Hold on. Hold on. Uh, view outfits. That is a local favorite. What in the, the cast of the Saint Denis? Uh. With the vol. The br Britanga. What? Hold on. No, I don't want to buy it. Hell no. Uh, these are just outfits. I don't like them. I don't know. Okay. Oh, for God's sake. I only stock the best in my shop. Just come out. And you'll never be disappointed. Uh... Right. All hats. Here we go. You can go with. So what that's the hat I've got. City hat. Military scout. Big valley hat. Western hat. <sighs> Dunno. Man, if I had a big dog, city hat, I kind of like the idea of having that. Haven't I met you somewhere else? Estate boss hat, Derby. Be 
big valley hat and then we've got what was it the other one ah uh, I stand behind everything I sell in this place so you can purchase hmm. with confidence. that looks cheap as hell I don't like that Big Valley hat is 18 bucks. Ugh. Please peruse at your leisure. Um. I carry only the finest items. I might go big city hat, and then can I change the color? God damn. <sighs> Let's do that. For now. Coats. Right. I look at all the bloody coats. Um. Scout jacket. Best in my shop. Shotgun coat. Hmm. Rambler's jacket. Uh, twenty one sixteen. I don't know. If you have any questions, it's not great, but it's like I don't know. Different style. So that's my jacket for now. Or st uh, now we're going to go shirts. Okay, we're going to look at all. That was everyday shirt. We're using a union suit. Standard. Everyday. French dress shirt. Uh, I don't know. Sorry. Well, we own this already. Hmm. Yellow looks terrible. I stand behind everything I sell in this place, so you can purchase with confidence. I hate the fact you got to keep going back into it. It's annoying. I like going for a French dress shirt just on principle because we haven't got it. Might go white. Um, just for the sake of it. Vests, I don't know. I don't think I want a vest anyway. Dignified, like a well fitted vest. Traditional vests. Don't think I'll bother with a vest, hold on. Let's go pants anyway. Right. Cuff pants, town pants. Fancy pants, my god. My Saddle jeans, jeans. Here is of exceptional quality. Work pants. Padded set of work pants? What? Eight. Hold on. What's the most expensive? Ten dollars for fancy pants. I feel like doing that just because they are what they are. Town pants. Cuff town pants. Um. I'm thinking like just go town pants. I only stock the best in my shop. Buy from me, and you'll never be. And then kind of sticking with the same kind of color as my thing we're, we're just matching the thing at this point excluding yours truly of course boots right so this slick riding boots sportsman boots button okay
Hmm, crying the boots. English preachers, classic roper. Hmm. Ah. Uh. I stand behind everything I sell in this place, so you can purchase with confidence. Sixteen bucks there, deluxe, relentless. But oh damn, uh, they're quite expensive, but that's fine. Grinder boots. That looks just a bit campish, in my opinion. Old western boots. So that like twenty bucks for that. I only stock the best in my shop. Buy from me, and you'll never be disappointed. Hmm. I can change the colour of these, can't I? I feel I'm fine with that. Almost you. I think I'm looking okay. I don't know. We'll have a look anyway. Um So these are It's just these two, aren't they? Hold on. Let me have a look. So we had rifleman gloves. Then we got riding gloves. And then cavalry gloves. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to just to change it up, we're going to, because there's only three options, let's be honest. I think it could match my uh, boots, I think. Well, they're black. Let's just do that. How do we look? Anything you'd like to buy, please bring it over now. Wow, man. We're looking a bit thick, aren't we? Damn. Not bad, though. Not bad, I mean, it's not stand out like the red. I won't even lie about that. Jesus Christ, we look pretty decent, like, in the city, you know? I'm thinking about maybe a bigger hat, but we can always come back to that. Pretty good. It's dark as hell as well. That's irking me a little bit. Uh, I want to hit the save button now, anyway, at this point. 32.9... Wait, 3.5, not bad. Um, the next mission, like I said, is the main thing. Like, the what's this? Ooh, Dutch needs to ask you. Oh, okay, you Dutch needs you to ask around in public places information about Bronte. Okay, so I'm going to check the timing of this video, and in the next one, right, I think that. Uh, I know I spent some time on this, so we did two kind of things or whatever. Burned that woman's house down and we came to the new city. Um, and I bought some clothes, which I want to look the part for walking around town and stuff. I'm happy with what I've got slash purchased. Um, the next one's going to be all about Bronte and the main story part, obviously. So guys, let me check the time of this video at this point in time. Fifty-four minutes. I'm happy with that, guys. I am going to leave it here. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. We've made some good progress on it. I know it's only two missions and like part. They were like both in two and one, as it were. But uh, we're looking for Jack right now at this point in time. Anyway, guys, I'm going to see you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching.